Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have glitched player picks once again. The same type of glitch, in fact, that we saw earlier this year with the infamous 0.7% Messy guys, they were giving out the 99 rated icon footies Sawa card yesterday at a record rate from two specific player picks that they have now taken away. The question is, will EA compensate? We're going to talk about that today and one of the dopest evos of the entire FC 24 year we had yesterday, as well as today. We're getting new player picks. Will EA refresh the 82 plus or will they go with the normal schedule that we've been seeing consistently going back to the 81 plus and maybe change it up a bit? We'll talk about that and what else to expect on today's game. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's go to that content from yesterday and let's talk about the evolutions to start off because this is probably the coolest in terms of just fun evolution of the entire year. Basically, create your own team of the year item. There are no requirements. Is that the first time there's ever been an evolution in this game where there are literally no requirements? Every single player from all of our clubs is eligible from bronze cards to 99 rated. You can put them into this Evo. That's pretty cool. I like also that it's one game. It's not very long to get it done. Basically, do this on any card that you think needs a better card design, has a sick dynamic image that matches with the blue and gold of the team of the year design. Or maybe put it on a club legend. For me, there's a lot of cards that I'm considering. You know, I want to make it on somebody that counts too. Like if somebody has a Tots card or maybe even a Euros card that looks really sick. I don't know if I want to put that on one of those items. I'm going to have to do some thinking. Looking back on some club legends to create my club legend team of the year is kind of how I'm going to view this. Uh, one thing I do want to mention with this is though, if you do put it on a player that has a chemistry boost with the car design. So like the Copa cards, uh, Make Your Marks, the PTGs. Some of those cards have chemistry boost, right? You will lose the chemistry boost on that item. Just be aware since this is a team of the year item and those were other items with chemistry boost tied to them. So that's one thing I did want to mention because a lot of people were talking about that. I think that Evo is just so cool though. Like more of that needs to be had heading into FC 25 during FC 25. And honestly thinking about it, that just seems like a test or kind of like um, a pretest of that FC 25 evolutions feature that they're adding where you can change the car designs of evos throughout the year kind of sounds just like that except it's a own separate evo for this year now we had another evolution dropped yesterday as well called the legends unleashed and it is a whopping 275,000 coins you get long ball plus and whipped pass plus it is for icons only guys it is a sizable stat boost but make sure if you're going to put somebody in this it's somebody who already has good pace and passing because those stats do not get upgraded with this evolution uh for me i'm gonna have to look through and see if it's worth it for me to put any of these cards in the thing that I'm noticing is if you're lucky enough to pack one of these really insane icons or maybe like a few last week packed Ronaldinho Thunderstruck, that's a nice card that you can put into this. That's a pretty sizable upgrade for him. He goes to 5-star, five 5-star, five and you get 95 shooting, and you get a really big physical boost. I think it's like plus, what is it, plus 10 physical in total on this evolution here. This Hullet card goes crazy. This... um the foot birthday hullet, which actually would be packable from the player pick that EA put out yesterday if they re-release it. 94 foot birthday hullet goes to a really, really insane card and being five star, five star. He's one of the top cards in the Evo. And guys, cards are still moving for Evos even in August. From 1.8 million coins, this hullet is now right around three milli because of him being bought on the market and put into this evolution. So this Legends Unleashed Evo, 275K is a lot. I mean, I get it. But also at the same time, like coins are so easy to come by right now with stuff like contracts and chemistry styles selling for crazy amounts. And then also just everything being so untradeable with the SBC fodder that if you're getting tradable SBCs, you're just kind of banking all of those coins. Unless you're buying players or buying a little bit of fodder, you're probably not spending a whole lot of coins right now. So that is one nice thing about that but I still think it's too expensive and it, it should have been 100k or something like that but that's that uh, evolution from yesterday now let's go to SBCs and start with the player SBC that's uh, honestly insane value Roberto Baggio now whenever I see a Baggio card I automatically compare him to a Zola card right because a lot of times these guys play similar in game at least in my eyes they're both Italian center attacking mid center forwards well this Baggio can now play on the wing he's 5 star 5 star and he is cheap like nine squads is a lot less than 30 from what we're just witnessing with Mia Ham. but this SBC here it's got low rated squads too right 87 87 88 890 
and 92. You could probably get this done with one day's worth of 85 10s and 84 10s, to be completely honest. It would be just about that easy. Maybe a couple of player picks thrown in there as well. Really, really, really easy SBC to get done. And it's only 400,000 coins from face value. The card itself looks really cracked. Does Baggio have the rat tail in game? I mean, that's a question that I have. I mean, his dynamic image does not show that. But remember the, was it the mid Baggio or the base Baggio in the, in the picture had like the rat tail. I don't know if he has that in game or not. I don't know if I've used Baggio all year, but this is a really nice, cheap, easy, craftable card to get done. And honestly, look at the stats. Cracked as well. Finesse with pass technical quick step. He's going to be a beast. I like that from positions that he has. So if you want to do an icon SBC and don't want to do 30 squads for me a ham, then go ahead and do the Baggio for sure. Now, the only thing I will mention is some of you guys might be saying this, Nate, the Zola that you mentioned, like he's free, right? Yeah, Zola is free for eight games of draft that you have to win. Uh, but if I'm being honest, I mean, I know Zola has some of his own jam. These cards are, they're really similar. I think Baggio maybe takes the cake just slightly. The biggest difference in the stats is probably his plus six defending, which is probably going to sway some of this comparison right here. But overall, he's got more pace and he's got better passing in the same dribbling. So honestly, I think I might prefer Baggio's playstyle pluses as well, especially for a winger. Dead ball versus whipped pass plus. He's got very meta playstyle. So that's a great SBC. If you want to get it done, it'll probably take you two seconds to do or maybe a day if you're going to take it, you know, with your 85s and 84 tens from one single day. That's a great icon SBC. SBC for a great price. Now, let's move on to the real stuff, guys. The glitched icon player picks. Not one of them, but two. We actually had two icon player picks released yesterday, guys, which is abnormal. I think we mentioned it in a video a couple days ago that EA last year released a 90 plus and a 93 plus. Well, they did that yesterday, and I would show them to you in the game, but of course, they are not released. But these SBCs, first of all, to take a look at them, we have the 93 plus greats the game, footies, team one, two, three, and four icon pick. Yesterday in the video, we talked about EA releasing the same icon pick. This is basically it. The same one that we've had for the past couple of weeks. They added on team four the footies icons. And that is about it. This one's best for chasing after the Hullet, chasing after the Zidane, chasing R9, R10, those types of top tier cards, maybe even footies Pele or Forty Sawa, right? <laughs> people probably were chasing her or wanting to pack her, but you know that weight was a different story yesterday, and a lot of people ended up getting here anyways. So I like that this one is our normal 93 plus pick, repeatable twice a day, good stuff. The 91 plus pick includes some older icons like Ultimate Birthday, Golazo, and Team of the Year, which might seem a little bit annoying, but also it was a lot cheaper. What was the actual requirements on this? In 87, two 87 rated squads, pretty cheap, 40,000 coins to complete. Do they require Team of the? seasons by the way if they don't that's amazing they do not 87 rated squad with no team of the seasons uh the second squad did okay that's still pretty easy because it is unlimited repeatable that is awesome an unlimited repeatable icon player pick maybe it's going to be a little bit worse but if you just want to send icon player picks instead of only being able to send the 92 pluses unlimited repeatable this is a nice option to have and if you're chasing after that hullet that we looked at for the evolution then you know going after foot birthday hullet would be possible and packing him would be possible from this SBC here as well. So that may be one thing that helps some of you guys out in the menu grind, but it's always nice to have options, a cheap icon pick and our normal good icon pick. Now, this is the problem, guys. They were glitched. This was happening for almost everybody yesterday. It felt just like the messy situation because the weight on Sawa was so high. Like people were opening these, these picks, the 93 pluses and the 91 pluses, and they were getting Sawa. Like here's another one with Sawa. And I guess she was always in that third slot on that right far side. You see Socrates, Sawa, and Zambrata. This guy says he got Sawa on two accounts. Like, it was crazy, man. You go down to these tweets and look at all the screenshots, and it's just Sawa after Sawa after Sawa, and it's really, really crazy. Del Piero and Sawa as well. This was happening, I think, how long was it? For over a couple of hours, because EA tweeted two and a half hours after content. They just got community noted as well. Hold on. But they tweeted two and a half hours after community content that they have identified an issue with the following SBCs, the 91 plus and the 93 plus icon player picks. They said, we'll provide an update to this thread when it is available. Now, of course, I'm kind of comparing this to the messy situation, but it is not nearly as bad as the messy situation. It is just in comparison to that, the player picks were giving out one certain player at a very high rate, higher than what they were probably 
intended, there's the word, right, that we used in February when the messy situation happened, higher than intended to. So, of course, back then in February, I want to look at this because I think it actually does give us some insight onto how this situation is going to be handled. And I know that it's August and it does not matter as much. And EA is probably not going to release a full entire statement like they did on the whole 86 plus pick with the messy in here. Um, but, you know, this is where the 0.7% comes from. They said uh, that players who completed this SBC will keep their reward and the SBC will not be returning as originally designed. Now, I don't think, if we think about this and the way in what we've learned EA, how they like to respond to these sorts of mistakes and glitches and pack mess ups, they don't like to compensate things when people have already taken advantage of a situation that benefited them through an SBC or through a player pick. I actually don't think that there's going to be compensation for this. Now, if you were not on, like myself, I was literally on the golf course, as you can tell. I was on the golf course. I saw tweets that this was getting glitched, and I was like, honestly... It's, it's August, I, I'm just gonna keep golfing and I don't care. Like I didn't get on to do the 93 plus pick because I was busy and doing other things. If you were on and you got to take advantage of it, then GG's. I know that feeling a little bit left out is definitely natural in the situation. If you were not on or if you weren't able to get on kind of like I was not able to, then you know, you're like, well, Nate, what about for those of us that weren't on at this, at this time when the SBC was out? Well, the way that EA sees it is uh, they, they don't compensate for that. They only compensate in situations where something was legitimately wrong or remember like when players have been the wrong nation. Like remember the John Joe Shelby or the Cruyff, the wrong place that plus. They've given the coins back. But this is kind of one of those situations, again, where if you were on and you were able to take advantage of it, then you know, that's your compensation. And everybody else who was not on just doesn't get the chance to do that SBC during the glitch period. That's the way that EA do it. Now, the community note here adds, honestly, some truth to this whole situation. This says, in fact, there was no issue because the player pick was giving out exactly what it uh, said it was going to. The SBC was delivering exactly what their descri uh, description promised. They were simply manipulating the odds on purpose, which... Yeah, I mean, they didn't want Sawa to be dropped to that many people. That is a glitch. That is a problem. And I understand why they don't want that. But also at this stage of the year, it's kind of like, come on. You know what I mean? Like, let us have, we're, we've been saying this for the past couple of days. Let us have some fun. Now, here's where they really need to let us have some fun. With the messy situation, they did not return the SBCs. This time around, they got to return the SBCs. And I'm imagining that they're going to. Um, and I hope it's as soon as today. Because these are SBCs that are an integral part of the footies grind that we enjoy doing each and every week. So I hope that they re-release the 93 plus and the 91 plus ASAP and get this issue fixed. Because without those, there's going to be a lot less fun in the menu grind here for a lot of you guys wanting to craft the icon picks. So... Um, yeah, they are removed at the moment. I would love to show you the SBCs in game, but they're not there. And again, guys, I wish we could think, oh man, they're going to like make a Sawa SBC now for people who weren't on to have a chance at the Sawa, but like that's probably not going to happen. I mean, we can have all these wild dreams and all these thoughts of like what might happen with the Sawa, you know, or what, how EA might compensate. But guys, I probably wouldn't expect anything because we've learned how EA approach these things. Now, when this SBC and hold this, this whole debacle was going on a couple hours hours after content take a look at some of the prices sawa was tanking she went from like 2.4 mil to 2.1 mil as people who probably had bought this card and were packing her and then selling her off so she went down really low she did rebound back to 2.3 2.4 where she is right now and fodder at the same time as well was moving actually people were doing the icon picks which i totally understand why look at guru Riten. she went from 6k all the way to 8,000 coins 88s were 8,000 coins a piece they were moving up in price as were team of the seasons guys icon picks bring the hype also i'm gonna mention this buying tots cards i know that they're like 15,000 coins every single night buy them buy them at 15,000 coins on bid sell them for 20k plus when sbcs come out each and every day and they refresh when the icon picks the 93 and the 91 plus come back out and sell your tots cards buy them for 15k on bid i'm sure they're 15k again or almost there right now as we head into the early date today on monday uh, you can look at tots moments as well but these cards what are they are they actually 15k oh boom 15k just try to get the highest rated ones you can possibly get and then get them on bid for the low 15 maybe even less than that thousand coins and you'll be good to go you'll be making some coins tomorrow because they'll sell for over 20,000 coins plus so you can still trade with tots cards it's not just invest and wait for them to rise it's buy them in the early morning 
trading hours for 15k sell them for 20k plus it's not as lucrative as buying them for 20 or 30 and selling them for 50 or 60 like we did the past couple of weeks but you know there is some good profit there if you're still trying to make a few coin right now in this end game time so that was the big situation yesterday um when the 93 plus and the 91 plus picks do come back um i'm assuming they're still going to have a decent amount of hype people are going to try them hoping that you can get sawa again from them but i just have to imagine that a they're going to be back to normal and b I, I hope they come back soon man but it was a weekend when this happened um it might be tuesday wednesday hopefully no later than than that honestly to get these picks back because i would enjoy doing a few of these during the week this week but it's just kind of another unfortunate situation that ea have made this mistake and created this something was coded incorrectly with the player pick and now we can't enjoy the sbc's in game for the end game part of the footies content because of that mistake and the fact that they had to take them away so i know it's frustrating like i feel you i, I wasn't on maybe it, it's better said i didn't care enough to get on and try to take advantage of the situation because it's august but it's one of those things as well where being on for the content time it, there are some perks to it like you know it only happens probably five to six days throughout of a whole calendar year but sometimes there is stuff that happens where you can take advantage of it and yesterday was one of those days let me know down in the comments who got sour because i know a lot of people did not a ton of people tweeted me but a lot of people definitely were posting pictures that they were packing her now let's talk about today let's talk about monday content and first of all i want to talk about the mia ham sbc it's been 24 hours more than that really since this sbc was released and uh today i begin my craft of this card i think i'm uh you know you might know Zwayback, right absolute mad lad legend in the fc24 fiva community i challenged him to a race to see who could craft this mia ham the fastest i think he is currently live streaming as i'm recording this video doing the mia ham craft and he's like over halfway done um but it's adding some spice to the august menus and some friendly fun on stream so i'm gonna be crafting this mia ham sbc today uh hoping with what i have left in the club um which is not a crazy amount of cards but some footies cards some of the sbcs and then all the crafting from the 85 tens 84 times tens and then of course you know i might be at a disadvantage because i'm not doing the 82 plus picks because they're going to go away but we're going to be crafting that today on stream seeing how fast we can do that also again with the mia ham yesterday i was probably a little bit too negative i was really tired yesterday making the video and yes i still believe i still stand by a lot of things that i said i'll preface it with that i do believe that um like some of the holding back that we feel from EA, I think is a little bit wrong. Let us go with the unlimited 84 and 85 times, or at least the unlimited 84 times tens right now. Uh, and the sheer number of 93 rated squads is still, in my opinion, too much for this card. But it is a 99 rated footies card that we were asking for this type of SBC. We were asking for this type of grind. I just think it's kind of like what we were anticipating for a grind. It's like, you know, way up there. So, I think there are some good things about this SBC. I said from the beginning that I was pumped to do a Mia Ham SBC because it is Mia Ham. Her card's so amazing, and I can't wait to use that item in game. But also, I'm still standing by a lot of what I said, but I think it came across a little bit too negative yesterday. So I saw a lot of you guys' comments, and I agree with it, man. I mean, I'm still not happy with how it went down, but I still think uh, that there are some positives from that SBC. Anyway, Monday content today is Player Pick Monday, right? 82 plus is going away. 81 plus is probably coming back. The nice thing would be if the 82 plus is stayed or if they made the 81 plus is like a one of five i can't imagine that they're going to do that but you know if they do they do you know the thing with player picks that we would like to have is take away the rare requirements or make it one rare like when it's one rare it's so easy or if it's no rares it's incredibly easy i doubt they're going to do that they'll probably keep one or two rares required in there and it might just be the same 81 plus pick with three rares which would be very annoying but I think we get a new pick today, as well as maybe a new higher rated pick, like an 86 plus pick. That's kind of been the normal Monday situation there. And then player SBC wise, I would imagine we get some sort of player SBC today as well. Again, I'm hoping for a non-hero or non-icon player SBC. And we, we tend to get those during the weeks, but we're on a roll at the moment with like the Yaya. And then of course we had on Friday, the Ginola, then we had the Ham. And then yesterday we had the, um, we had the Baggio. So we're kind of on a run here of the icons and the heroes like let's bring it back a little bit and give us some regular footies players 97 98 99 some of the cheaper ones during the week would be fine but let's let's hit us you know like a Furlan mendy like that's the card the griezmann of fifa 22 that i keep thinking of and even some of the great sbcs that we had at the end of fifa 23 it's time for one of those to be coming out as well so we'll have to see actually the baggio was not leaked yesterday so 
Maybe there won't be a league for a player SBC today, but uh, it'll either be another cheap 95, 96 rated fodder type of card, or it could be another banger. And it make me feel bad that I'm going to go do the Mia Hamm SBC if another banger SBC comes out. So we'll have to see. But of course, um, we'll be looking for the 93 plus and the 91 plus picks to come back today as well. Last thing I want to leave you with is if you've been doing the daily login each and every day uh, today, is the day five we'll be able to get an 83 five here and a free 84 times 10 from the daily login upgrade sbc completionist which will be very nice for the craft as well so it's monday have a great start to the week and i will see you guys in the twitch stream today if you enjoyed this video today drop it up to bonnet comment below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it's been nathan for count see you guys in the stream today peace out